Good evening, everyone. Today we're going to do something special. Something that's never been done before. So, we've done a pottery only challenge before. One city pottery only challenge. Basically, the rule is you can only build one city. No invading, no attacking. Can only have one city. The only cities, if you get bonus cities, you can flip cities. That is one thing you can do. And uh, you can only research pottery. So you can get texts from huts. You can get texts from scientists. But you can't research anything except pottery. So that's the challenge. I've done it before, but it was on a scenario. The scenarios are always easier because you know what and where everything is. And a lot of the times you can lock the AI into landlocked cities, which can't get science as well. <laughs> no domination victory tonight because it's a one city challenge. So I've been debating this one in my head all day trying to figure out. How am I going to do this? Is it going to be, uh, you know, there's a few different ones that could do this pretty well. China comes to mind because they have, uh, they start with writing. It's nice to have, it's nice to know that you'll have uh, writing and spies for sure. And another one I've like is French because they have that cathedral. It makes it easy to grow and, and break in a lot of great people. So you either got to steal them with spies or you're going to have to. Uh, get them with a cathedral. Uh, something that'll really help you out is a lot of. Uh, if you can get a lot of artifacts, that would be a big deal, actually. If you only have one, that's going to be a bummer. Uh, Spain is another one I thought about, simply because they start with Atlantis, and uh, they could basically get Atlantis to help them tech up a little bit and get a few more things they could work with. Basically, the only way you could really win this is culture or economic victory tech is impossible of course because you can't research anything culture you would have to just steal a lot of great people people build a lot of uh, spies and you would have to uh, just uh, steal a bunch of people build some one as many wonders as you can a lot of the wonders are actually unlocked by like the first uh fifth you know like the first three or four tiers of text which are possible to get if you're really lucky yeah, I could do this with the French. I, I believe I, I'm pretty certain about that. So in this case, the pottery is already researched, so I wouldn't have to research anything. Because they start with pottery. China also is a... The idea of starting with writing is so nice. Just the idea that you can... Get those spies. It's a tough decision, honestly. Oh, I've been thinking about this one all day. I've done this. The last time I did this challenge, I did it with Russia. So, let's go ahead and do it with uh, the French this time. I'm actually terrified to press A right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're going to want to get 100 gold as fast as you can. And when you get that settler, you're going to join him in the city. And that will actually bring you from 2 to 3 population. So if we can, we'll see if we can do that. I see a river here. Is this it? Hey, Brian MC, man. Hey, uh, you've been binge watching my videos? That's a good thing, man. Oh, baby, look at that. So, this is probably a great spot right here. Number one, I got a villager right off the bat. And. I can also plop down over here. Wonder if we got any. So if I plop down here, I'll have one, two, three. I think this will work. 
know it looks a little strange to plop down right here, but I got river, river. I don't think I'll get a courthouse, but I mean, it could happen. I know I don't have access to the water, but I don't think I'll need it in this case. In fact, it might actually be a bad thing to have access to water. So let's give this a whirl, see what we can do. Wish me luck. Now I can build armies and all that. Question is, where do I send this guy? Wow. If I can get a courthouse here, this would be amazing. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Always nice to lose no warriors on the first attack. So if I happen to get lucky and get a tech here, I think I would want Barracks or Colossus? Uh, barracks or Alphabet. Both really good. Let's try bronze working. So, the good news is Hanging Gardens is available. Something good to check. That means that the Egyptians don't have it. So that's a really good thing. Someone in the chat or Joe want to give me an idea to do? What do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean. Wow. I don't think we can get construction, but that would be nice. Got an oak tree right here. <laughs> Thank you for the follow report, Silver Zombie. Yes, I think that's a, a good a good thing. <laughs> Trying to hit a natural wonder here. Hey, Kevin Bolo. What's going on, man? I really just want to hit a natural wonder. That's all I want to do. Oh! Oh! Do I need more than three? Yes, I think I do. Hey, Druid. Right now I'm terrified that I might uh, screw this up. So I'm like being ultra careful. <laughs> Whoa! Man, where is the natural wonder here? No, it's somewhere. Question is, how many warriors do I really need right now? <laughs> I don't want to mess this up at all. Though I will say, I do like this position. This position seems pretty, pretty godly right here. As a really tight choke point, I could wall that off. 
I'm thinking about just getting six warriors right now. I think that would be sufficient. And then I could place them right there, and that would take care of my def my defenses for a long time. Oh. There we go. Not have them. Pottery River. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yes, I will. Found the Pottery River, so that'll help me out a little bit. And we'll make one more warrior. And I think that'll be enough for now. Try this out. Perfect. What a boss. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm getting lucky. So we got the Indians nearby. That could be a little bit of a concern once they get fundamentalism. But that's okay. Still not sure how many artifacts are in this game. It's over here. Does anyone know what's over here? What is over here? Um, I believe that's the ocean over there. Let's build our granary. Gotta get to 100 gold. Should sell the Indians pottery. That's what we should be doing. See how much money we can squeeze out of this guy. Ten gold. Right. Gonna have to do. Maybe worth. Sometimes that's a name tile. Come on, boys. Get him. Slacking. Thirty eight gold. We need to get a hundred gold ASAP. Scoot 
this guy back in his boat here. We can get a really nice view here. Oh! Oh, nice. So we got another hut. That'll help us for sure. This game should allow fast battle mode in single player. That would be a nice improvement. That could be a good thing. Spies are handy. Maybe we could steal a great person. That would be pretty sweet. We shall see. Still not sure how many artifacts are in this game. It would be nice to figure that out. Hopefully five. That would be nice. veteran status. Very nice. I'm thinking there must be a... I might be able to get a tile over here. One of you. No? Oh well. Maybe not. Oh, what's down here? Could this be a thing? Is a thing down here? Let's meet up with the Aztecs. Not these guys are usually rich. Let's see what they got. Oh! Jackpot. Jackpot. There we go. Consider selling the spy for gold, but it's kind of priceless. Since I may not get another one. This warrior is a legend. This guy. Okay, three artifacts. So that's good. I could route this guy to India, but I think I'm going to explore. Wow, that's a lot of whales. <laughs> yes, the secret of pottery was handed over. You guys understand. I mean, I need money. I'm broke. Well, that's too bad. Cathedral's kicking some butt, so that's good. <laughs> Come on. You understand. It's the only leverage I have right now. That's all I got.
Come on, give me a name title. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. <laughs> so this is interesting. Looks like I'm sealed off. This is like a long, very long landmass land that kind of twists to the north here. It's almost like a spiral or something like that. So, looks like we'll be routing this over to the to India after all. I think we're doing pretty well. We're doing alright. Everything's gonna be just fine. Wow. Spain would love to have that island. Are you serious? Look at that. Not a <laughs> All right, so we're getting our settler. So that's good. Going to settle him in the city, of course. It's part of the challenge. Boom. And we can get our granary too. So that's cool. Hey, hey, hey. Let's take this guy and settle him. This should bring us to about three in the, in the next turn. So I settled him there. He's, as you can see, it says it's full. So it should hit three next turn. And we get a granary for only eight gold due to all the production that we got. What else do we have here? Hanging gardens. So, we'll see how fast we can grow that up. We must get that city huge as fast as possible. Oh ho! Found us a hut. Let's go get it. Nice. I figured there might be another one there. There it is, sure enough. Getting irrigation would be really nice. I don't really see how that's even possible. Right now we're just going to grow and... Uh, the nice thing about the French is we will get a whole lot of culture due to the fact we have a cathedral. So, that'll be cool. At least we'll get... Oh, this guy's already expanding. Thanks. I don't even... Oh, he might have bronze working. Not sure. 
<laughs> yes, make pottery great again. Do it. Beautiful. Took no losses there. Get some intel here. Oh, nice. That was fortunate. Hey, welcome, Smokums. Let's keep our eyes peeled for uh, a great person popping up here. So we'll be up to four population in two turns here. Lots of gold building up. We have lots of gold, so that's good. We need to get bronze working. So hopefully we get it from one of these huts or village. Wow, this guy's a gladiator. Interesting. See the Mongols right over there. Okay, so we got Knights Templar in the game. Not really going to help me. I would really rather have that have been something else. Next turn, we'll hit four population, so that's good. Let's get this warrior back on the bow. guy's looking at me cross-eyed. Don't appreciate that. You could just go away. That'd be good. There we go. Oh, weird. 15 gold from that? I forgot that that's actually time-based and not actually tech-based. I thought it was era-based. Sometimes I forget about that. Always good to meet the enemy civs and sell them my goodies. Five gold. It's like not even worth it. At least give me 10. Maybe I can send him a caravan or something like that. The reason I'm keeping this spy... I could put him in defense so that it skips his turn, but I kind of want to keep my eyeball on Delhi. Make sure that they uh, don't get a great person or something like that. <laughs> oh! My goodness. Might just have the horse get that. Wow, look at all these. Might have to stop. Oh, nice. We're getting a ton of gold. Which 
which is great. We're going to need all of it. <laughs> what year do I think I'll finish? You're assuming I'm going to win. Come on. <laughs> the pottery force. Uh, if I don't get bronze working, I'm not sure. I can't. I don't even know if I can win this game, to be honest. I have to get a test some techs out of this. If I don't, could be doomed. I'm getting a lot of gold, but it's not going to do me any good if I don't have any archers. But we're about to get a great person, so we'll see what happens. Could always get a great scientist. What? Why did that guy go that way? Oh! Oh! Got a builder. Wow. That's a really good thing. Only question is, what do we do with it? <laughs> now, of course, we could build... We could build hanging gardens, obviously. However... I would really rather use it for something higher, because I could build hanging gardens, it's only 100 production. If I could save it for something a little better, that would be ideal. Like trade fair, that would be good to save it for that. Definitely not Stonehenge. Alright, how many... It's kind of a goofy choke point here. May end up retreating at one point here. I'm gonna wait on hanging gardens for now, at least until I get five population, because then I can get up to eight population, which would be better than going to six at this point. All right, let's keep going. I've never seen the French warriors perform so well. Killing it right now. Of course, as soon as I mention it, guys getting destroyed. this guy even get back? Not really. <laughs> There's no way that guy's getting back without a boat. Hmm. Gonna have to wait for him.
Yeah, I'm going to build it next turn. Definitely. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Why is the computer building Stonehenge? Yeah, out of their mind. You always have you're always tempted to wait a few more turns before you really build that thing. But I think this is the way to go. is going to have to drive around the entire world. Got a horse army. That's kind of cool. And I'm going to have a knight. So I'm going to have some firepower in my hands. Pretty nice. Nothing too scary going on yet. Aztecs have three texts, it looks like, in 1500 BC. Oh, here comes the Stonehenge culture push. Pretty scary. Still nothing there. Won't army up those horses quite yet. We'll see if we can. Use them separately. Ooh, getting 28 culture per turn now. And the Aztecs have expanded as well. <laughs> but um, psh. All right. How are we doing? I guess we're doing pretty well. Not going to set any production over there yet. Because if I do, I'm going to be building like a trillion warriors and I'd rather bank the hammers right now. Setting my production to anything would be a huge mistake right now. Yeah, sure, you can get a recap. So we're doing a one-city pottery-only victory for the French, so really we're researching nothing because they start with it in this case. And we're doing pretty well. We have built the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and a granary, and we're up to eight population already, so that's a good thing. And we're just banking some hammers, and we've choked off this choke point right here. We're gonna we got a spy waiting. Maybe we can steal a great person, something like that. We shall see what happens. I haven't found the fifth opponent quite yet, or the fourth opponent, I should say. Uh, but I found everyone else, and they're not doing anything too crazy yet. So. I think there's still hope. I haven't got... One of the big problems right now is... Uh, I don't have bronze working, so I don't have anything to defend myself truly. I need... Uh, I need some archers.
the larger army in that city. Jeff, not Abba. Pick up this knight. So the Indians blew uh, their great person, so we won't be able to steal anyone anytime soon. It'd be nice to get a great humanitarian, but I don't think that's happening. Perhaps when this next culture milestone comes up, we'll see. Oh! Are you serious? There's no one in the city. <laughs> yeah, I can use great scientists to rush text. I can do that. So, I can't, since it's a one city game, I cannot take this city, even though I could easily flatten it with this knight right here. I have no spies here, so there's nothing I can do, really. No defense. It's like they know I, I'm doing the one city challenge. It's like they know. I'd like to get some techs, some hut, some uh, techs from these little hut villages right here. Don't want to hover those villages for too long. I'll get a copyright violation from YouTube. Got to be careful these days. Getting one gold per turn, killing it. Strogi, even Strogi, get him. Sometimes doing this can mess with the seating. Let's mess with the seating. Can we mess with the seating a little bit? Strogi, go. It worked. Even Strogi, get him. <laughs> Why not produce the warriors and sell them in Paris? Because I'd rather build wonders. Yeah, this is live. So we must be getting pretty close to building this. Eight turns. We need a barracks too. So let's go ahead and pop that out. Essential. So everything that bronze working gives us is completely essential. The archers, the barracks, and Colossus. Well, Colossus isn't essential. That is a really nice thing to have though. The Mongols are starting to take off. Fortunately, they're very far away. Hopefully it stays that way. And we'll start building Colossus now. This is a single player challenge. Basically, I'm trying to it's a one city challenge where you can't research anything and you have to win on deity. So no tech allowed. 
pottery, as I call it a pottery only challenge, you can only research pottery. So I did start with pottery as the French. So. Yeah, it's impossible to lose hammers. So if you just continue banking those hammers, they don't go anywhere. It is impossible to lose hammers. They're always there in the background being counted, so. And we're about to get another great person, so that's cool. Hopefully humanitarian. Let's hope for humanitarian in this case. Culture? <sighs> Not really interested in flipping cities at this point. Let's go ahead and settle them. The problem is it's too far from my borders, and it's just going to be a nightmare to try to defend that. So... Let's keep it centralized right here. At least it was something I didn't have yet. <laughs> uh. Else, yeah. So we're gonna have to get some more tech cuts and hope for the best here. Oh no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that, Delhi. It's the Russians. need to get through here. I don't actually want to fight these guys. I think I just need to drive through. They're on the opposite side. And just for the sake of checking, we'll check these tiles out. Looks good. We're getting 45 culture per turn, which is pretty gangsta. Look at that. Less than 10 turns, we get a great person. Pretty good. Let's keep growing. Just driving through. Hopefully he understands. Two gold now, killing it. And they have a third city now. Need to get my little warrior back there so I can make two armies. Or I'll just pump out some archers at some point here. Yes, I did. I'm sorry about that. Wow. Didn't mean to trigger him like that. That was embarrassing. That's weird. Sometimes this building animation is so not accurate. I don't either he spent his production or he's actually like before it looked like it was almost done, but now it looks like it's back. Like mine looks. So, I'm not sure what happened there. We need to get 
currency. We need 250 gold. Alright, now they're mad at me. Try to maintain peace with as much as many of these guys as we can. Single city culture video of the French on bit. It's uh no, I haven't done that one. I haven't done the Beta Centauri. I don't think I've even done that scenario. Is that one pretty cool? <laughs> Domination victory with the alphabet. I will dominate you with phonics. That's right. See you, ghost. Could rush Colossus, but <laughs> oh yeah, I could have named it Pottery Plains. Missed opportunities, I'm telling you. Screwing this game up. You guys want my gold. I like when they declare war and then don't actually do anything. That's pretty cool. So it's zero year. And everything still pretty pretty calm so far. And we'll get a great person in two turns here. Looks like they stopped building the Colossus after all. Oh, uh, is that what it is? So when they start building it, it looks like it's done, almost. And then later on, it act shows the actual progress. Is that what the deal is? Yeah, I was about to say, it didn't seem like they had that much production going on, even on Deity difficulty. I don't think that would even be possible. Another great person coming up. Give me a humanitarian, please. Doesn't make any sense. My knight is over there. Got another builder. I don't even know what to do with all these builders.
Looks like we're going to finish the Colossus without even rushing it. We have a lot of production, so. Ironically, these builders could become a liability. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? You like that one? So we've got two techs, and we really need a <laughs> beard. Uh, probably not. Let's move away from that hill. Don't want to get. Let them use that hill to their advantage. They're using fundamentalism, so that's a little bit... Hopefully they don't become interested in fighting me. Question is, where is? Oh, there's a little island over here in the center. Maybe there's some goodies over here. Nope. Something over here. Just not sure what. can do is I can force them to come into my culture boundary. And that would force them to heal if they tried to come in here. Let's just kind of fall back here and use this culture to our advantage. A tech victory without using science tiles. You could do it. As long as you're allowed to research science. Um, yeah, that would be possible. Kind of surprised that India hasn't attacked there. Uh. Kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Let's 
So nothing over there. We're going to have to go east. Good in currency next turn, so that's good. Oh, look at that. Can't build a boat, unfortunately. Hip hua. Hooey. Follow. Let's get our trade fair. Whew. Please name a tile Trumptopia. <laughs> All right, we'll see what I can do. Thirty-two gold a turn, killing it. I see a bunch of great people, but they're all too far away from me, which is a little unfortunate. But on the bright side, they're having a hard time attacking me. They don't really want to mess with all this culture. Still getting great people every 10 turns or so. Uh oh, here they come. Might have to start pumping out archers pretty soon. the instant I move away. How could I get over there without getting destroyed? You want your bike? <laughs> yeah, maybe so. <sighs> Let's see if they come into my culture boundary. Yeah. They're getting brave. These are just warriors, not legions, so that's just not as scary. And they're not veterans, so they've got two attack. But once they army up, they'll have six, so I don't know if they're going to... They might do that in a moment here. What's up, Dizalg? Uh-oh. They might do it. They might army up.
Awesome. Guys, even trying? What are you doing? Oh, perfect. That is exactly what I needed. Woo! I'm serious. I'm not being sarcastic. Uh, well. I should drop them off, is what I should do. Because <laughs> they're starting to get froggy over here. And, uh... We're going to have to attack or do something here. Tried to delay this as long as I could, but had to be done. They're coming with a uh, legion, so that's gonna be a little dangerous. And I think those warriors are doomed. So currency? Could just give them currency. Good job, I'm gonna give him currency. It's worth the nine turns of peach. Nine turns of peace. Totally worth it. Wish there was a way to deselect building, but you can't. This will give me time to set up my archer barricade. Oh! The village. <laughs> it's true. That's what he did. Gandhi is a greedy, warmongering jerk. About to get a... Nice. About to get a 500 gold milestone here, so... Another great person? Scientist, maybe? Would be nice. Alphabet would be good. Let's see what happens. There we go. And writing would be. Hey. Hey. That could be good. No, so that's one of the rules in this one no tech buying, since it's so cheap. <laughs> and it works so well. Huh? 
It's looking good. Only at war with someone who's very far away. I'm okay with that. And Angkor Wat is probably going to give us Great Pyramid. Which is actually good. So we can switch to Democracy. Or Monarchy. But I don't think we want that. Scientists. Awesome. Very good. Looks like someone built Oracle. Who built the Oracle? I don't know who built the Oracle, but someone did. So we got some anarchy going on. That's all right, though. Uh, so I think writing is definitely the best thing we can get at this point. So we might as well just get it. And we'll get half cost roads too, because we'll hit five techs. <laughs> you dream about this one at night? That's pretty funny. I know what you mean, I kind of do as well. Obviously, that's why I'm playing the game. It makes me laugh. I'm like, how could... Who should I use? Should I use the Chinese? The Spanish? The French? So, pretty cool to try to do this. So, one thing you may not think about. Getting... What? I got... What? I got writing first? <laughs> That's hilarious. So, another hidden little gem I got out of this is... We also have Library of Alexandria, the Great Library. So we can use that to tech up, perhaps. We'll see what we can get out of it. I'm not sure there'll be another game after this, Donald Trump. Uh, it depends how long this takes. Let's see, what do we got here? Two... Let's get these archers out. Yep, that's the plan, buddy. That's the plan. One more archer and I feel, I'll feel good to go. Get out of here, buddy. We got a peace agreement. What? Why do they want peace? I mean, that's great.
Oh, hey Nick Live say. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Alright, I don't think anything's over here. So we'll should probably go drop these units off. Some nice resources around here, tell that much. It's gonna be really nice if we can steal this. By the way, can I just say how stupid? Why would the 1,000 gold bonus be granaries in all your cities? That's like, so, what were they thinking? At least something interesting like trading posts or something like that. Or even workshops, something cool. All right, what do we got here? Go for the great library. Hey, Sammy, what's going on, man? mad. Look at that. Triggering them right now. <laughs> Make my recoded version of the game. I'll think about it. We're up to 144 gold per turn. Per, per turn. We're doing all right. I guess 14 is pretty good. We need a humanitarian though, so that's kind of killing us right now. Don't want to build a library because that'll actually give you two science and you don't want that so let's keep it going whoa that's terrible so they actually made my colossus obsolete already it's going to make this harder. What are they doing? Really? What in the world? They have 12 techs. How do they have invention already? And steam power. The heck? <laughs> I'm 
might need these knights to get some heat off of these units over here. Yeah, I tend to take my time, don't I? I could rush the Great Library right now. And that could score me a bunch of cool techs. Let's see. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth rushing anything that I can actually build. Not... Ooh. Five techs. That's too bad. So I'm at five techs. Let's see what this gets me. Yeah, I don't know what the Indians are doing. So the weird thing about the library, it's not actually retroactive, so what has to happen is it checks every time someone finishes a tech. Whoa, would you look at that. <laughs> Pottery power, huh? Amazing. There's a whole user account just for pottery. It's amazing. Wow, thank goodness. Finally got what are they what are they doing? I can't believe they let my guy go back. Thought for sure they were gonna run me through the meat grinder over there. scored a tech already. I'm up to six. What did I get? <laughs> I don't even know what I got. I have to know what I got. Nothing that gave me anything cool, but let's see what I got. Oh, I got math. Picked up math there. Alright, let's see how my defenses are looking. These are all built up. Hopefully the Indians get another one, because I have another spy waiting. This is crazy. I've never actually used the great library to get text before. This is so strange to me. Continue banking. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's awesome. That's so much production. 
The great library brought me uh oh what does this say? Let me blow this up. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> is my what? Joe Leonard is my why. I didn't I, I couldn't I didn't see what that whole thing said. It looked funny though. Oh man, I can't believe we have construction. <laughs> this is pretty funny. It said I could build a workshop. It's lying to me. I don't see a workshop. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, cut your name off. Joe Leonard is my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Glad you could join. Did you see this? Is this a bug? I can't build a workshop. I have resource access, though. Um. Jeff could actually get engineering. Temple's worthless. Masonry is almost worthless. <laughs> I think I was trolled on like my first stream. Some guy named Dr. Penetration Zero or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a weird guy. He never came back. I don't know. I guess I wasn't exciting enough for him. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm thinking literacy would be super handy here because we could get a courthouse and Shakespeare's theater. It's another wonder we could build. And it would obsolete the Indian Stonehenge and that would trigger them so hard. The East India Company, of course, is awesome, but it's and the harbor's cool, but it's not helping me in this game because I'm landlocked and it's one city game. And I don't think engineering is really gonna. Someone got okay, so the Mongols got engineering. I'm thinking about going literacy. Could potentially even get democracy in this game. Could get literacy in 61 turns, guys. What do you think about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so, man. Yeah. Top five civs multiplayer in order. I really like using Arabs. Honestly. They're so aggressive, and I just kind of like that play style. And whenever I use them, I seem to do pretty well. Hooray! We are... Oh no, we have science? I'm the first to discover literacy? Are you serious? What is wrong with these people? It's 1100 AD. That's crazy. Does that mean I'm getting science now? It's unintentional science. It's not my fault. I'm now going to get one science per turn and there's nothing I can do about it. All right, courthouse. Bollum, bollum. <laughs> <Key. laughs> what science per turn? <laughs> Reset. <laughs> I'm not resetting. Are you crazy? Bollum. Let's get a courthouse. There's a lot of good tiles I can work here. Wow. <laughs> oh, is that your buddy? Oh, look at that. I've met some pretty strange people in my life, so I don't think you could 
nothing really phases me, to be honest. Oh. Hey, Mystery Thing X. Glad you could follow. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> you got... All right, who did genocide put you guys up to this? Naming all these pottery people. So this is interesting. I actually have... Look at all these nice tiles I can make. Oh, if I could get... There's cattle over there, too. Oh, man, all this. It's hard to resist. Now we're getting some decent growth, actually. We'll sacrifice some short-term gains. They scared now. I got the horse armies coming. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, Flirp. That's pretty good. <laughs> that may be the title for this video. Alright, we're going to be growing Paris pretty nicely now. Hopefully we get a humanitarian pretty soon here. That's what we really need. A great leader wouldn't be bad. Oh, that's not cool. So does that mean... Yeah, now it's going to start asking me to research things every turn, which is annoying. So, I'm just going to hit B. So that I don't research anything. The funny thing is, they have the Mongols have cruisers, but they can't do anything with them against me. Which makes me kick. I top kick about that. Man. So there's a humanitarian and a great artist. I could potentially steal this right here. Maybe? Joe, could you make an impression of me six, please? Not sure what you mean by that. Uh, I would say the Americans are the best for an early economic victory. But if you don't count them, I would say... Even store they can't. Spain's pretty good. Spain have lots of goodies. <laughs> Look at these hands. I got huge hands. Look at them. I got huge hands. How was that? Not too bad, huh? I'll have to work on it, I suppose. <laughs> I haven't really <laughs> impressions. I don't know if that's my uh, strong suit. I don't know about that. <laughs> I need to build the wall. Who's this guy? That's a gold guy. Yeah, don't need that. <laughs> oh, 
we're getting big. Getting big. Wait, what? You see this bug? Oh, okay, I see. So there's two great people. May as well just use this guy. Jeb Bush. He's so disgusting. He said he was going to pull down his pants and moon the crowd. It's disgusting. Uh-oh. Aztec's mad. How am I almost winning the tech race? I have 10 techs and the leader has four, 14. Uh, it's a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, now we can build a workshop. Which I guess we could actually kind of benefit from. Let's do it. Let's rush this thing. This rate, it could be a culture victory. Ooh, 180 culture per turn. Aqueduct. Did we just pick up engineering? Did you see that? Wow. Pretty crucial. Could this be a culture victory? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. That's a pretty serious culture per turn, though. 180? Yeah. Kind of hoping they'd bring a great person over here. It doesn't look like they want to help me out, though. Going to go ahead and rush the aqueducts. We need the growth. So they got some culture over there, finally. Ironically, they declare war on me on the same turn. Aztecs are starting to get some serious tech going over here, too. Can you hit an island with a spy? Maybe?
See how many great people we can steal. Let's see what happens. This city's gonna start growing pretty quickly. We do have a, an aqueduct there now. Yeah, I'm just hoping there's no spy actually in that in those Aztec cities. Oh no. Don't really want the culture one as much. That's <laughs> that is what I said. Let's see how many Korean people we can steal. Let's just see. I hope the Aztecs have no uh, spies. That would be nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. At least they're not fundamentalism. That's good. Uh-oh. Holy cow. I hope they don't have the barracks. I wouldn't mind getting a great leader at all right now. So we'll see what the game gives me. It looks like they are veterans. So that's a little gross. Since this is in our territory, what we can do is we can weaken them. And then force them to retreat. And if it looks bad, as soon as my one of my guys dies, I can just... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could do that. It's probably a, be a smart thing to do. All right, good night, Brian MC. Aztecs are pretty good, man. I like the Aztecs. I'm at war with everybody. What? 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 Did I just get navigation? I'm like raking in all kinds of technologies. That great library must be kicking some butt. <laughs> this is so ridiculous.
Don't really need that one. Not true. Yeah, Please give me a humanitarian or a leader, something useful. Actually, a science wouldn't be too bad. Alright, we got four spies. We're ready. This is what I really want. Grab the science one, too, if I can. person and we can rush this too why not mm. just keep popping out wonders maybe we'll get a culture victory who knows Age of Empires 2. Um, no, but I've watched it on Twitch, and I have a couple buddies that love that game. So I've watched it a little bit. A couple of my buddies used to, like, rave about that game. That's not going to work. It's right next to a city with a great artist. Holy cow, look at all these guys. going to have to be a successful spy mission. What we actually need is irrigation. Could really use that. That would net me quite a lot of food here. See what we can do about that. <laughs> yeah, people really rave about that game. There's a few guys on Twitch that stream that game. I follow them. Over. 
Is anything even in that city? Doesn't look like a bad city over there. sure about that one. Pretty interesting that they keep marching right into that grass area there. You would think they'd want to stay in the forest. We'll wait till next turn. See what happens. Bravo. Aleppo, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. This city does not look that hot. Whoa! Some crazy stuff going on up here. Wow. Can I build? Do I have democracy? No, I still have archers. So I'm just concerned about flipping one of these cities and then just losing it right away. That's the main thing I'm concerned about right now. Popping out a lot of wonders and everything, which is great. should just sit tight. Everything is cozy. Not allowed to convert cities. I can't even flip them? Oh! <laughs> 
I have nothing to lose by attacking these archers. Yeah, you can't go from... Can't do that. You have to disembark first. That's crazy. That means you can't take... <laughs> A great person from an island. Wow. Let's see how many people we can steal. Hopefully all of them. What do these guys even want from me? Invention? They want money? I'll consider it if they actually start making a dent in my defenses. Oh! Yeah, they got better. Oh, yeah, they're kind of loose. That's hilarious. I done got us a great general, man. See that? A great general helping. <laughs> this is hilarious. Wow. Are you for real? Did it, boys. We got a humanitarian. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm not sure that that artist is worth casualties right now. My general and Scrant. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Wow. <laughs> they accepted engineering. And the only reason I did that is I didn't want him to sink me. The 
That was pretty lucky. have to go south. Great something next turn. Still in second place in technology. Scientist or humanitarian or leader would be cool. Yeah, Indians are starting to ramp up here. They just got the samurai castle. Thanks a lot, game. They just changed the monarchy? Is that what they did? Indians are awfully confused. Such an even game! This is great! Alright, we got our plus one. If we can get to 5,000, we can get nothing, because we already got aqueducts. I'm just very happy that Gandhi changed back to monarchy because I don't want to deal fundamentalist Indians right now. This guy's got leadership, so I'm not going to mess with that guy. So we're up to 324 per turn. Interesting. Alright, so we got East India Company next turn. Ah, we got democracy and the Magna Carta. That's very good. This great library is killing it. My favorite new wonder. Oh, these are veterans.
It's like the longest fight ever. Does it really need the last 30 seconds? Let's get Magna Carta, shall we? Follum, follum, bonum grew. Who is? Keep. Oh. I got a irrigation. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> Holy cow, this is going to be crazy growth. Now I have irrigation, an aqueduct. I don't know that I need to rush Magna Carta, to be honest. I need to rush Magna Carta. I'll be pumping out a lot of... A lot of culture. 32 food. Let's get that food rolling. That's some awesome food right there. <laughs> yeah. Rushing that would feel pretty good. Gotta be honest. coming in here. I have pikemen. Three hundred fifty four now. It's just bank. It's just bank at this point. <laughs> How yeah, if I got nukes in a game where I did no zero science research, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> I 
have gunpowder? <laughs> Holy cow. Get out of here, Catherine. Skank. I don't think the AI ever nukes anybody. You can't eliminate a capital capital anyway. I would still have all my techs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know even. I don't think it's gonna happen. Not too worried about that. Yeah. That would be catastrophic if that happened, yes. Yeah, I don't think the AI ever nukes. <laughs> uh, got it. Loud and clear, buddy. It'd be pretty funny if I got a humanitarian from this milestone here. Culture again? I just got banking. Holy cow. Wow. All these great artists. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, man, you can make a ring, you can make a caravan ring. What do they call it? They have a special name for it. I've like never made one, so I don't even know what it's called. Thank you. It's called a train. Caravan train. You know what's funny is when you have a, when you're in the modern era and you have a train or a, or a caravan, it looks like a, I, I didn't know that it turns from a camel into a truck. I didn't know that. And it plays like different music and everything. It's kind of funny. City's bananas. Caravan train, caravan train, caravan train. Breaking it in now. Got an aqueduct. 
I already have one, so that did nothing. I'm just gonna bank hammers at this point. Let's put the general right there. We're just gonna chill. Position nicely. We're actually going for the guys that are in the trees because they don't have any better options. The other tile has leadership and a great general, so they don't have any choice. We're gonna get creamed. Thanks. Thank you. Medic, loyalty. <laughs> Settler train. <laughs> Whoa, this guy's injured me pretty good. Oh man, they destroyed him. Nice job. I'm gonna get an A for effort. The Mongols. I've seen them get up pretty out of control sometimes. The AI, like, flips out. I'm up to a thousand gold per turn. Holy cow. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe I'm in the modern era when I haven't researched anything. This is insane. Even still don't have masonry. I don't think I need growth anymore. I believe 31's the max, so. Great person next turn, and then we'll get another great person the turn after that. Not that it really seems to matter at this point. I could have saved those great explorers and ended up cashing them in for more gold later. I didn't really need them at the time. Is that a sciences? No. What do you do? So what happens if you have 31 and then you add one? I don't know. Nothing? Yes, it is nothing. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, they got a great leader. I'm so jealous. Coming with riflemen. What I really need are some cannons. That's not going to cut it. <gasps> so we're at 24 techs, 7 out of 8, and 11 out of 20. It's looking like an economic victory at this point makes sense if you're a single city it's hard I mean it would be interesting if we used all these artists to flip cities and all that would have been interesting to see how that would go down follow, follow. 
Oh. Combined with the great library and all that. So they look a little lost right now. They're just kind of shuffling back and forth, which is a good thing. That's an indication that they don't think they have a shot at busting through my bulwark. The trailer for AC Origins? I'm a history geek, so I'm really excited. What's AC Origins? No, I'm not familiar. <laughs> what is that all about? Getting close. Aww, someone got flight. Oh, Assassin's Creed. Oh, ancient Egypt, huh? Interesting. Whoa, industrialization. I had a great scientist that could get industrialization. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I really think that's interesting. Like, I know there's a requirement to, like, get a tech in 10 turns, but what's up with, like, being able to do it in 526 turns? Like, if you have no tech selected, like, what's the logic behind that? Like, why can I pick these? Is it because I have so little tech that it's like like normally it's a privilege to be able to select the tech so I'm not I'm not really sure I understand why it even offers anything is it because I don't have enough science to rush anything I mean enough science to qualify for anything so it just offers every available thing it doesn't make sense because normally you need one tenth you need to be able to finish it in ten turns so We may win next turn. Let's see. I'm not sure what my production's looking like right now. Charles Babbage. World Bank. Next turn. I have Railroad? Convert it. Dude, I got so many great artists. I can convert like half of the game right now. Oh, their last desperate attempt. Pathetic. Get out of here. Get off my lawn. Eleventh hour, they're busting through. They're coming. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nice try, boys. Nice try. <laughs> Artist army. That'd be funny. Woo! Yeah, we did it. We did it. No science. Single city. No attacking. No conquering enemy cities. No problem. Took him down.
Thanks to the Friday morning design group. These guys did a good job. Slightly better than Machiavelli. How do we do? Looks like we did worse and worse as the AI grew their cities super huge. They had way more stuff than us. That's not fair. Look at that general. Amazing. Well, I think that establishes that pottery is really all you need to win in this game. That's all I started with. That's all I needed. I rushed that granary, and it was game over. I wonder if you could get away with that in multiplayer. Probably not, but it would be funny to try. So, that's it for tonight, guys. I'm going to uh, call it a night. We've accomplished quite a bit. On uh, Saturday, I may play Civ 6 or Civ Rev. I'm not sure quite yet. I'm still thinking about it. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. For those watching on YouTube, I'll see you next time. And for those on Twitch, I'm going to hand you guys off to someone cool. We're going to see if we can find someone to raid.